Okay, Celtics pull out the victory over the Pistons. Thank God. This was looking like it really could have gone as a two two game losing streak, just like the season started against the Cavs and the Bucks. But um, you know, it was just pretty anemic all around, just kind of blah. Kyrie Irving very much held in check by Avery Bradley. He only got 12 shots off. And um yeah, I, I, it was better than it was better than I remembered it while watching it. I guess I'll put it like that. Um but the Pistons just absolutely shot terribly and they have now lost 6 games. But the Pistons almost broke their 5 game losing streak against the Celtics. A missed three there with two minutes left would have made it. If that had gone in, it would have been a one-point game. And uh, the Celtics just really never put this game away when they could have. But we survived on the road on a Sunday. I don't know if there was some hangover factor or something like that. You know, people going out last night or what. But Aaron Baines was a big difference maker. He was the player of the game, according to the television. Um, And... Obviously, he was a huge improvement over Marcus Morris from the last time we played them when Al Horford got stuck playing Andre Drummond the whole game, including like the whole fourth quarter, and the game just slipped out of reach because Horford could not hang with Andre Drummond. But Horford at power forward, totally different story, right? 18 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks, 0 turnovers. Uh, That's just a really big game. And uh, Jalen Brown, rock solid. He had a clutch basket late in the fourth, too. Jason Tatum was clutch in the fourth quarter as well with that contested three-pointer over Andre Drummond with about two minutes left. And uh, Marcus Smart had a clutch skyhook shot late in the fourth as well. So uh, all in all, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? You know, are the Celtics a legit top contender? I don't know about that right now, but uh, I do think, again, we have Gordon Hayward probably coming back, and uh, I just hope he's ready to play when he does, and I know he's working hard. But the Celtics are going to need everything they have, and they are going to need Aaron Baines to stay healthy. He is our one bruising center, something we never had in the last, like, four or five years, right? So thank God we have him. Um some of the advanced stats like uh, ESPN's real plus minus shows that um, Kelly Olenek is the more valuable overall player. But for this team and what we need and what we've needed for four years, Aaron Baines probably more valuable for us, definitely more valuable for us. And I think we saw that tonight. Although the Pistons, just a totally different team from when we saw them last time. Uh, the success got to their heads and they just fell apart. They, they coasted for a little bit, and then once they started coasting, they couldn't get their confidence back up, and right now their confidence is just in the tank. So we saw glimpses of this dynamic when they went on that West Coast run early in the season, and they beat the Clippers, and then they beat the Golden State Warriors. You remember that? And then it was like the next game. They had won like three or four in a row, and they were all conceited, all happy. And then they lost to some team that they totally should have crushed. Maybe even the Kings or something. I don't know. Something crazy like that. Or the Lakers. They lost to the Lakers. That was it. And uh, anyway, they're doing that again, though, falling into these cycles with the inconsistency. Um, Whatever. Maybe they'll come back because they looked very much scary earlier in the year. And uh, they have plenty of talent, but they just are shooting like total crap. Uh, Avery Bradley inefficient but he held Kyrie Irving in check despite having a negative 20 plus minus and uh, it was nice to see Shemi Ojale with a positive plus minus this game uh, hitting a three-pointer and a real nice euro step Uh, Daniel Tice Marcus Smart plus 10 that's great anyway guys uh, yeah you know it's a long season trust the process and uh, we will just slowly keep getting better and better that bench still, something needs to happen, guys. Something needs to happen. But if they give Marcus Morris a few days off, which they probably should, I think early in the year he was just so anxious to get on that court that they probably rushed him and they should not have played him in the preseason 
They played him on a gimpy knee. He injured it worse. Then he had to sit out a little bit. Then he came back, and now he's been, you know, on and off the entire season so far. So, Shemi Ojale, if he keeps playing well, and you give these other guys a few more minutes, you know, they can handle it uh, until someone gets injured. I think they should uh, rest up Marcus Morris a little bit more and uh, get better performances out of him when he does play and uh, hope that that knee actually heals. They got to do something because what they're doing now is not working. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of the game. Celtics go to 23-5, and and I will see you soon. Peace.